What is going on guys? Hope you're all killing it and having a fantastic day. Welcome back to a new video. A lot has changed since my last video uploaded a week or two ago. The mop has finally gone. I have got a bunch of new gear to experiment and play with and I've also moved houses which is why the setup behind me is a little bit different to what you normally see. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Corey Crawford. I am a photographer and digital artist based out of New South Wales, Australia. In today's tutorial, we're going to be creating this really cool effect using one layer in Photoshop. And this would literally take you five minutes if you know your way around Photoshop. Don't worry if you don't know your way around Photoshop. Um, we will be going step by step on how to create this. It is a very, very simple effect that can be achieved very easily. If you do enjoy this video and come away with something that you haven't learned before, leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. If you are using this effect and posting it on Instagram, I'd love to see how they turn out by tagging me at CC's Eyes on Instagram. With all that said and done, let's jump into Photoshop and create this really cool zoom effect using one layer in Photoshop. Once you have that file that you want to create this effect on in Photoshop, duplicate that layer by hitting Control J on your keyboard that will duplicate the background layer. Next, what you wanna do is go up to Filter, Blur and Radial Blur. That will give you two options of doing the spin method or the zoom method. For this one, we want to do the zoom so it looks like we're going into the actual center of the image. For the quality, you want to click best. And for this image, I found that the 18 for the amount works perfectly. This here, you can adjust the center of the zoom for this shot because it's in the center of the whole image. I'm going to make sure it's to the center. If you want to make the zoom effect just down here, just click and drag down and you will see the lines that it's going to be affecting. So I want that in the center, press OK and that will create the effect. Once that's done, what you want to do is create a layer mask by hitting this icon down here they'll pop up a white layer mask. Now what we've got is the layer underneath which doesn't have the effect on it. So what we wanna do is for this layer mask, make sure that it's selected, go to the brush tool and make sure you're painting on a black brush on a white layer mask. What that's going to do is reveal what's underneath. 100% opacity, 100% flow and that will reveal what's underneath. What I did for the original edit was I brought back some of the rooftops of these skyscrapers just to give it more depth and a little bit more interest in the image. This is a completely personal preference. Get creative with it and go nuts with this effect. And that's it. That's as simple as that. You created a really cool effect using just a simple blur radial filter effect and you get some really, really cool results out of it. So I hope you all did enjoy this little video. Like what I said before, tag me in the photos on Instagram at CC's Eyes. I would love to see your edits. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you in the next video.